this can you hear me i'm audible or not yes sir yes you are not interacting so how many students so have don't. studied already direct tax how many students are aware about the direct tax put in chat box yes or no it means you are not aware about the direct tax advanced financial accounting now you already studied the financial accounting in semester 5 and semester 6 in the uh, financial accounting you have studied the company final account how many students studied company final account how many are studied company final account if you studied the company final account put in chat yes because financial accounting was a compulsory subject in tyb com and you already studied the company final account you studied the partnership firm final account also then you studied the proprietary final account non manufacturing firm final account so same similar type of study we have in our semester third and we will study some final account part also direct tax in in, uh, in tyb com you studied the how to compute taxable income but in mcom in semester third we will study how to find out the tax liability the tax liability how we will calculate what is advance tax what the tds means what returns means what so such a advanced concepts and practical way we will study then after that friends these are financial services this particular uh, subject is very important for exam point of view and your knowledge point of view also because financial services this particular subject is not available to other colleges and i specifically uh, take this particular subject for our mcom students because financial services it is a one of the uh, we can say healthy sub, uh, subject as compared to other subjects because it gives the information about the updated knowledge of the today's scenario and it gives the updated information about the finance in our country and outside also therefore finance services it is a one of the major subject it is very knowledgeable subject you will get the good information good knowledge and you will uh, think about the your future also on that basis okay the so financial services it, it this particular subject will be take by your favorite teacher that is professor krishna nandela advanced financial accounting direct tax i will take project work it is a research work you already said studied the research methodology this particular subject in semester 1 you are aware about the research methodology part uh, and this particular previous semesters semester 1's research methodology uh, notes you have to keep for your further study purpose you don't put uh, outdated that particular part because it is a part of your study and your research methodology notes for your project work study purpose it is very essential semester third this particular semester third we will discuss and we will study then after that in semester 4 we have a semester 4 it is a last semester but it is a one of the important semester in this particular semester 4 we have a corporate financial accounting 
and one more subject is there indirect tax in in our indirect tax we will study goods and service tax that is gst so we have a good opportunity to score good marks and study very knowledgeable subjects very informative and knowledgeable subjects we will study so corporate financial accounting indirect tax under indirect tax we will study goods and service tax then after that one more subject we introduce in semester 4 that is international financial reporting standards that is ifrs international financial reporting standard now one one uh, one more announcement because this particular subject also not there in outside the colleges other colleges they don't have this type type of subject and we will intentionally take this particular subject because this particular subject gives the information related to the accounting standards and it is it provide the knowledge related to the international accounting standard and indian accounting standards so indian accounting standard we will compare international accounting and our indian accounting standards and how we will conversion of ifrs into indus as this conversion of the foreign accounting standards in our country how we converted conversion is there that we will discuss so it is one of the major subject in our module in our semester 4 then after that in semester 4 we have one more project one we have to study one more project one again you should prepare research top project the, the guy uh, that particular teacher will give uh, any particular topic you should select the topic on that basis you should prepare the project work and you should submit to the college college will take the viva and on the basis of your project work and viva college will allot some marks it is out of 100 and for that purpose college will appoint two examiner for project work purpose college will appoint two examiner that is external examiner and internal examiner it means extern internal examiner means the within the college college teacher check the project what take the viva and allot the marks external examiner means the outside of our college some other college teacher he will take the so check the project work and take the viva and allot the marks so ex external and internal examiners both they merge their marks and they will send to the university so the project work it is a major work and project work you should properly do for your scoring purpose so here corporate financial accounting it is also for 100 marks indirect tax 100 marks international financial reporting standard also 100 marks and project work 100 marks now friends one thing you have to keep in mind we have a 60 40 pattern we have a 60 40 pattern 
6040 pattern means you are, you already aware about the internal internal test conduct inter class test conduct for 40 marks and external class uh, test conduct for 60 marks internal test conduct by colleges and external test conduct by university now you know that you already aware about last year you you have experience about this 60 40 the same things is there here also and if the possible uh, offline mode we will conduct the exam if the because of the covid pandemic we are conducting objective test but if possibility is there maybe we will conduct offline exam whenever we will conduct the offline exam paper pattern is totally different we will not ask if the offline exam is there we will not ask objective questions we will ask practical problems theoretical problems theoretical questions and objective questions also therefore you have to keep in mind that we have to study all part of our subject not only objectives you should study theory practical and objectives because suddenly they will decide that we will conduct offline mode when they will decide we will take the lectures in offline mode also so you should prepare yourself and you have to think about you will be aware about the practical part you should know about the theoretical part and objective part also therefore all subjects are equally important all semesters are equally important and every subject you should score properly you should give equal weightage to the all subjects don't think about if you see that in our semester third this is a practical subject based subject it is also practical based subject financial services is a theoretical subject but it is interesting it is interesting subject is that then corporate financial accounting practical accounting gst also we have a practical problems and international financial reporting standard we have a theory and some case studies also but we will not take deeply but some standards related to our syllabus that we will study all standards are not study and it is not possible in our small semester but we will study some important standards we will study indus indian accounting standard and ifrs and some similar accounting standard also we will study to come if you compare this we have a very good option to, to study this mcom program and we will get the good knowledge related to the accountancy part and one more thing i want to share with you no need to take any textbook no need to buy any textbook you have to bring only one big notebook for each and every subject you have to prepare one registered notebook and you have to bring the calculator 12 digit pen pencil scale that you have to keep but don't buy any kind of textbooks i i strongly oppose the textbooks because we don't want the textbooks textbooks are available in our library also uh, but we will not provide textbooks to the students whatever notes i will provide it to you even the financial services is for the subject take by krishna sir and financial services textbooks are not available in our market any kind of store if you go if you ask the financial services textbooks they will say that it is not available but don't worry about the financial services because 
professionals are already prepare their notes and it is available in our college website also you can see the financial services notes in our college website even that they can sir can directly share in your telegram group or whatsapp group also so you don't worried about the uh, notes and the this particular textbook purpose don't worry about and direct tax and advanced financial accounting this could be two subjects i will give the proper notes to you and practical problem also i will teach because without practical problem without first of all we will discuss the concepts concepts is very important once the concept clear you can easily study practical after practicals completed you know about the you have a knowledge about the practical and concept we can easily tackle or solve any multiple choice question so it is very important that you should study concepts then practical problem then objectives you if you go directly to the objectives without study concepts and the practical problem it is not a good kind of study because you are not aware about the concept you are not aware about the how to solve the problems so how can you understand the objectives so you should study concepts practical problem then you can understand the objectives also the chances are very less whether paper pattern is only objectives i don't think so they may be take offline board exam so you should prepare for offline board purpose don't think about objective a i i can easily manage but it is not possible because you have to think about your study and knowledge point of view then after that you have to think about the exam point of view. okay so let us discuss we have a advanced financial accounting this particular subject advanced financial accounting this particular subject is very important and very fruitful very scoring subject many students got 60 out of 60 in external also and internal also 40 out of 40 i seen many students got 100 out of 100 in this particular subject because what happened we have a this particular subject we have a total four modules we have to study only four modules modules include first module we will study that is foreign so first module we will study that is foreign currency foreign currency transaction foreign currency transaction and it is one of the important model why it is important because we have to study in this particular model uh, how we will convert our foreign currency into indian currency and what kinds of treatments are there you already studied in ty bcom regarding the for so investment accounting and uh, foreign currency transactions here we will study foreign currency conversion how we will do foreign currency conversion foreign branches you know about some foreign operations are there foreign transactions are there and how we will tackle such transactions that we are going to learn and 
we have to prepare for that purpose our simple trial balance the trading account profit and loss account and balance that you know you are aware about but whenever we have to prepare trial balance foreign currency we will convert it into our indian currency how it will convert it what kinds of rates we have to consider that we will study now next module is there that is a final accounts and statutory statutory requirements for banking companies and accounts and statutory requirements for banking companies it means final account of the banking companies it means final account of the bank in ty you studied the final account of the companies in sy become you studied the final account of the partnership firm then the final account of the non profit organization in fy become you studied the manufacturing final account in 12 standard you studied partnership final account and 11 standard you studied sole trading final account but you are not studied banking companies final account so we will study in this particular module final account and some statutory requirements some rules some sections that we will study then after that third module we have to study that is accounting and statutory requirement for insurance company accounting it is accounting and statutory requirements for insurance company it it simply means insurance companies final account we will study in this third module final account of insurance companies now there are two types of insurance companies you know you are aware about general insurance and life insurance general insurance and life insurance and their formats are different our company account we will study we study the partnership final account also formats are different banking companies final account for formats are different insurance companies for companies final accounts format also different the schedules are different in company account we will study the note uh, we will prepare the note to accounts but in banking company we have to prepare the schedules in insurance company also we will prepare the schedules banking company schedules and insurance company schedules are different you should aware about these things because in future if you go to the any company maybe a banking company or insurance company you should aware about the how they prepare final accounts banking companies final account you should know about insurance companies final account you are aware about then you can easily understand banking transactions and insurance transactions also for that purpose under advanced financial accounting third module is very important then after that fourth module we will study accounting and statutory requirements for cooperative cooperative societies of cooperative societies final account 
cooperative society's final account if you see that in our advanced financial accounting three modules are belong to only final account only one module is there module number one in that we will study foreign currency transaction we will study only final foreign currency transaction other three modules only final account we will study final account of the cooperative societies final account of the insurance companies final account of the banking companies it means we will study final account and their requirements their formats and it is very important for our knowledge point of view study point of view and exam point of view also if you see that all final accounts are there but all three Companies final accounts are not similar. Cooperative societies final account is not similar with the insurance companies and banking companies. Banking companies final account is not similar with the insurance companies. It means practice is very important. Concepts clear? Where we have to put this particular item? Where we have to put which schedule is applicable for this particular item related to the banking companies? related to the insurance companies and related to the cooperative societies therefore you have to study hard you will score maximum marks your final account is there and only tally tally is not a concept in this particular format concept is that you should know about which item comes under which head you should know about the what will be the treatment of the particular transaction then you will get the marks in 11th and 12th standard you already studied that if the balance sheet is tally it means whole sum is right it is not possible in banking companies and insurance companies and even the property societies but one thing you have to keep in mind Corporate society's accounting it is similar to 11 standards final account. Corporate society's accounting final account it is similar to the 11 standard final account. Uh, I, I uh, stop here right now because only one minute is remain. Uh, I will send one more link to you and after five minutes you will join. Okay, fine. Okay. Sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one.